Center in Anaheim. And so today and tomorrow at 5 o'clock will be the last two uh, trips to give to you. will be out tomorrow, but still have that trip and all of the buzzard bookie keywords for you, too. <coughs> so if you're trying to get to that show, I got a shot for you to do it here uh, in a second. If you listen to us on iHeartRadio, tell me where. I like to know where people are. We've swapped out our Bureau Chief map temporarily for the Christmas tree. But it'll return. Jake listens in Orange County, California. Uh, Mike's in Rochester. Brian's in Memphis. Andrew's in Louisville, Kentucky. Mean Gene listens in Council Bluffs, Iowa. And uh, Renee is in Tavares, Florida. We also have a lot of Bureau Chiefs in uh, the great state of Tennessee. And specifically in Nashville, Tennessee. About 45 minutes outside Nashville is a town called Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. Hmm. Say it quickly. It sounds like Murfreesboro, but it's Murfreesboro. And they have basically made it illegal to be publicly gay. I, I don't know how you enforce this. I don't know how you do it. Uh, it's really bad news if you go to Middle Tennessee State University. That's where that is. They refer to it as rural Tennessee, but there's a couple hundred thousand people there. It's not, you know, it's just beyond suburban Nashville. So it's not a small town. And uh, they've basically uh, banned any public homosexual PDA. Uh, I guess they... they so, but what do they... Like, what do they deem? Like, it's a slippery slope, right? They're always worried about a slippery slope. Like, what if you're just, you know, giving your buddy a nut tap? Is that homosexual hey, PDA? That's gay. <laughs> right? In the Did cops. you say no homo? <laughs> well, right? I mean, like, I mean, can you can that get you out of it? Like, you give your buddy like a joking kiss on the mouth and go no homo. <laughs> no joking kiss, <laughs> right? On with the no mouth. tongue. Yeah. I, to your point, they're not kidding around. I mean, if you're a hiker, you can't even get on the trailhead. Hey. <laughs> So this is one of these towns, I think, where they, like, banned books that have mm -hmm. two mommies in them or something. And so and this is part that. of that whole thing. But, it, it's a, I mean, it's essentially so you're watching a targeted game. to gay people in that town. But, again, this is a college town, so right. I'm not sure how they... Well, I need to get... But a, say, say a you're man. watching a Titans game, and they actually win, and you're celebrating with your buddy, and you give him a hug. Are you going straight to jail? And also... Are you going to force this? Would you get a ticket if you were a straight couple and making out? Right. Because how do you know that's a real woman? You know? Yeah. When, you don't know. Straight I will, to jail. I will say. If I, you're wearing a uniform, that's kind of gay. Like, you look at all that. Straight to jail. Uh, we don't have any bureau chiefs in Murfreesboro, but it's not far outside Nashville. And it ain't a small town. You know, if you're in the middle of nowhere, Iowa, and you got a couple hundred people... Those are the kind of stories you expect from those towns. What if because you eat a banana and there it's already not sliced up? But you're in a town of 200 people. There already aren't. like The gay people have all moved out already. So, But this is... You um, drink a cocktail from a straw. Is that count? Like, what are the... Thi like, how are you figuring out what's gay? And, and what's how, many, how many loops can that party straw have? Right. One of those metal mm. straws, you know, with the Peyronies on the end. Oh. That might be an issue. The ordinance has the local librarians worried that the books assigned for school won't be available. It all comes down to banning books that have anything to do um, with LGBTQ. Why are they doing this? Freedom, of course. I love freedom. Freedom. I will say I want a husband from this exact city because they won't take me for granted. Hunkick's really be, twisting my mind into a pretzel be today repressed. because on the one hand, he goes, I'm perfectly fine being alone the rest of my life. But twice today, he's mentioned his future husband. If I get married, I want a husband from this city because he'll treat me right. He won't take me for granted. And he... Uh, from from what city? What is it? Oh, from Murfreesboro, Tennessee? Murfreesboro, yeah. Okay. Um, he'll be repressed, so it'll be the sex will be fire. Like, that's always how it works. Every time, like, one of these Trump supporters can't... Like be outly gay, outwardly gay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but these are also the kind of town. Listen, these things never work. It's not like all the gay people go underground and hide. They get louder as they should. 
Not always. They go, hey, well, in a town like this, in Tennessee. They get married. They have kids. They run for office or something. And well, then- maybe, but that's another way of, of speaking loudly. Replacing the people who were elected before to try to quiet you down. Or, I mean, I don't know how you make it essentially illegal to be any kind of person. I don't know how something like that is enforced. Alan, what if you have relationships with women but sex with men? You know what? I've got a guy who can answer that question for you. I've been wondering about this. Yeah. I am not gay. I have relationships with women and sex with men. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. All right. You heard it here first from no less than Ice T. Hey, Alan, hate the show. Um, you know, with with all the news surrounding the conflict in Israel and Palestine, the Ukraine war still raging. Um, there's just so much going on. It's just hard to keep a good mental health situation. But you know, I'm not going to waste any time on it because every three months there's a person being ripped to shreds by a <laughs> crocodile in North Queensland. <laughs> That's a good point. That, that is, is a really good, good point. point. How can I be expected to focus on all these other things right. when every three months, like clockwork, I didn't even know crocodiles could tell time. Do they know that in this Tennessee town? Do they know that they're focusing on gay people doing gay stuff in public when they're pe- being ripped? To shreds every three months in North Queensland. How about that? By crocodiles. By, by crocodiles. You're not even, not even about by, that. I mean, in, in Murfreesboro, they're being ripped to shreds by locally elected officials. Mm-hmm. But they're in North Queensland every three months. People ripped to shreds by crocodiles. Like Amos Moses, like that classic song. He went into the swamp, but he never came out again. We don't know where the Louisiana sheriff went to. Hey, Mike. Yes. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? What's up? Hey, I wonder, uh, would you get in trouble if you ate a hot dog in public? That's what I'm curious about. <laughs> you eat a hot dog in public. You eat a banana in public. Uh, you yeah. eat a push-up in public. Oh, those are good. Bowl, they still right? make push-ups? Right. These all. Oh. Anything phallic. Or does, it, or does it depend on how you eat it, right? If right. you eat a papaya in public and you're a woman, like... Like Nicolas Cage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you eat a peach all day. <laughs> all day. I mean. You eat a peach all day. Mm-hmm. There's so many loopholes in this legislation, I can't figure it out. But it's you taking a up a lot of. You have a roast beef sandwich yeah. in public, you're a lady. Like, yes. Boom. Come on. You going to jail? Yeah. yeah. How are Taco Tuesdays going to survive this? That's what I'm saying. It's all right. Well, we'll, tr- we'll... So, many, so many addendums to this, it's not even funny. Mm-hmm. It is not. All right. Thank you, Mike. There's uh, Mike down in Macedonia, right there in the the shadow of MGM Northfield Park. Let me give you this trip, as promised, send you to L.A. Think about mid-January in the, uh, in Ohio, but you're sitting on two tickets to California. I can't think about mid-January in Ohio because I'm worried about the crocodiles <laughs> ripping people to shreds every three months in North Queensland. <laughs> like clockwork. Well, you're going to have to put that concern aside come January because we're doing our Alter Ego Festival. Now, none of us are able to go. I I don't know. We've never been invited. Yeah, I don't know. We've we've never been invited. So I don't know if we could go. I imagine we probably, I mean, it's a weekend. We we could conceivably go. We've never been invited, uh, but we'd love for you to be able to get out there. What are the dates again? It's January the 13th, I believe. I'm free. I'm free that weekend. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, our loss is your gain, and uh, good luck. It's the 1975 and Paramore and 30 Seconds to Mars and the Black Keys and some 41 and Bush, who just, boy, tore the roof off the joint at Buzzard Fest, and there wasn't even a roof. So listen closely, and good luck. Now, your chance at a trip to our iHeartRadio alter ego. Text the nationwide keyword, FLY, to the number 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info, standard data and message rate supply in this nationwide contest. That's FLY to 200-200. Now, 30 Seconds to Mars is doing their own tour. So if you strike out on one of these trips to L.A. but you want to see them, I will have those tickets for you next week. 30 Seconds to Mars with AFI, Evie Havoc and the gang, and Poppy, 
who really kind of does her own thing, and Kenny Hoopla from right here in Cleveland, Ohio. That is August 7th at Blossom. Now, what if you're in this so town? So Monday and Tuesday, I'll have those tickets for you. What if you're in this town in Tennessee and you are just shaking up two protein shakes? Just no big deal. <laughs> just shaking up two protein shakes. Each hand. One in each hand. Your friend has Mount left height. to use the, use the loo, and he yeah. said, hey, could you hold my protein shake? You just both uh, got done spotting each other at the gym. Mm -hmm. So there's problem one. Can oh, you, you can't do that? spot anybody at the gym anymore. Nope. That's gay. That's, you cannot. That is a gay act. Nope. Even if you mention I have to wipe down my machine, mm -hmm. they might take it the wrong way, and you don't want that either. So, yeah, your friend is standing there while you're off uh, doing something else, and you've been kind enough sh to shake both protein shakes. Right. Are they going to put you in jail for that? Just standing there, shaking the protein shakes. They really haven't <laughs> thought this through. And that's the trouble with any kind of legislation like this. Yeah. They never think it through. They haven't taken into account uh, sale, local sales of shake weights. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> Jim Harbaugh, by the way, will uh, miss the Ohio State game because of his suspension. He will serve a suspension for six of U of M's 12 regular season games. And so he'll, I think that's next weekend. Yeah. The Ohio yeah. State Michigan game. That's the big game. Yeah. The, the 20, big game around these the parts. The 25th. Yep. The 24th and 25th. There's something going on. The 24th and 25th of November. November. Yeah. I remember. I'm headlining the funny stop in Cuyahoga oh. Falls. All right, you'll be competing with that game. No, because that game is on at like noon. Oh, so your show's not plenty. at noon. No, it's You're not. You're not doing a, a matinee? Not doing a matinee, not oh. doing a nooner. It's they're they're seven thirty and eight or something like I think seven and nine thirty. All right. Something like that. Seven and nine thirty. Seems Both. like a better time Bill for Squire. comedy. Dot com. Daytime comedy is kind of a it's tough. It's an uphill battle. Uh speaking of being on campus. Girls, look out for OJ, because he's out there, and he's looking at you. I've played a couple of clips from this before, but there's a show. I think it's called It Is What It Is. It's Mace and Cameron. Remember Mace and Cameron? These guys started doing, like, kind of a sports show. They have some girl on with them who I think is the actual sports person. But Mace and Cameron do this thing. And, boy, they love OJ Simpson. I mean, the O.J. murder thing is so far back now that he's become like a kindly old grandfather. It, you know, people don't have that kind of memory. Certainly not the kid. You know, that all happened like a decade before kids who are in college now were even born. So when, when they're joking about how O.J. likes girls who have granddaddy issues. I don't know if he's hoping history will repeat itself, but, uh, and they're howling at this guy. They just, Mace and Cameron, mm -hmm. they love it. Boy, they think OJ is the greatest thing. And maybe it is a generational thing. Maybe after a while, uh, the people who uh, remember that OJ, let's be real, killed two people 30 years ago, uh, forget that. And there's a whole generation of girls who have no clue what that is. They and never, he's, he's happy to see him. They never said he wasn't a charmer. Give me an example of a female that had a granddaddy issue that you, you encountered. Uh, uh, this one's from New Hampshire. It was one that I liked, so I got to, you know, say I did like her, and it wasn't a fleeting thing. I mean, it lasted at least three days. She had to go back to school. <laughs> she had to go back to school. It wasn't fleeting. It lasted three whole days. That's creepy. But they have him on a lot. They, they call him Uncle OJ. Uncle OJ. Uncle! He's <laughs> just Uncle OJ. Well, anyway, if you have grand... Now, again, I have to cop to the fact I've never heard of granddaddy issues. Daddy issues, yeah. I've never heard of granddaddy issues. I mean, these girls on campus aren't even going to know who OJ is. Murderer or otherwise. They're going to be like, what did you do? I played football for a long time. Oh, cool. All right, well. It may, I, I imagine that the extent of his uh, three-day relationship with a girl in New Hampshire uh, was probably buying her lots of drinks, maybe. I can't imagine anybody letting uh, O.J. get on top. But they, uh, they love him. And I would imagine O.J. 
in his own head probably figures, hey, I did some time in prison, so that should cover everything. I was acquitted of the murders. Uh, I did some time for the whole stealing of the memorabilia, right? And so in his brain, he's like, eh, I, I shouldn't have done any jail time, but I did, and so that should cover everything. So it must, must be a generational thing that the girls in college now don't even yeah, know really anything. Know, yeah. Like their dads tell them, you know, OJ killed two people, right? And they go, that, no, he's so nice. I spent three days with him. He only tried to choke me once. And that was consensual. Yes. The gals love the choking. That's not a generational thing. There are girls when I was in college. Love the choking. I'm not a choker, right? I'm no uh, are you a midnight Draymond toker? Green. What? Are you a midnight toker? I, huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm a choker. Do any friends call you Maurice? Smoker. They what? <laughs> no, they don't call me Maurice. But, uh, yeah, the choking, uh, not my thing. But a lot of people are into it. And I understand the, uh, the, the biology of it. I understand the physics of it. You shouldn't be shamed for it. But uh, all I can think is, uh, how are we talking about OJ so much? When every three months, there's a person being ripped to <laughs> right. shreds by a crocodile in North Queensland. That's what OJ should default to anytime someone brings that up to him. Be like, why would you worry about me? There's crocodiles killing people every three months. Like, even if that that's way more people than I ever killed. Yeah. If I had killed people. If I had done it. Yeah. If I did it. Available now. This is what I would have done. <laughs> mm. Alan, will Tennessee be able to ban parents from kissing in front of their children? Again, I don't know. This is a very poorly uh, thought out yeah, I don't know. piece of legislation. Make me sweat. Make me harder. Make me sweat. Make me harder. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. <laughs> I'll just mix it into the clubs. Release into some house parties. Mm. Pound Cake, did you see that Cassie is suing Diddy for rape? Remember Cassie? You know, I it doesn't surprise me. Like, I'm not shocked at all. She turned down. He was paying her $300,000 a month. It, well, no, he offered her $300,000 a month uh, to be his live-in wife. This is like she, 10, 15 years ago, yeah. And she turned it down. So imagine what was going on inside of that house for him to, for her to turn down $300,000 a month. You turn that down because you're so, you want to get away from Diddy? You didn't seen some stuff. So it doesn't surprise me. She got dirt on him. Um, Diddy's such a nerd, though. I never understood, like, the whole thing with Sean Combs. I know he's, like, trying to be a hard guy just because he was, like, adjacent to... Biggie and all this stuff, and I was like, he's such a nerd, he's just a big dork. Yeah, he's 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 another one like Snoop, where he's corny. Uh, like no, he doesn't have a song by himself that people bump. Like no, there, there's no every song that made it to the radio has a feature. Like it's some, it's no one wants to listen to Diddy rap. Diddy can't rap. Um, he's more of a producer and he has an eye for talent. He's not a rapper. He's just more of a mogul. But yeah, it's. I think he's okay with that. Yeah, yeah. He's okay with that. He's the rapper, I'm the mogul, yeah, like that right. old Will Smith record. But the fact that Cassie, like, I didn't even know this story happened, but I'm not shocked by it at all because she turned down $300,000 a month. Like, some people don't even get that in spousal support. I mean, there's no way to know how much that is per year, but... Uh, Let me calculate this real quick. Mm -hmm. It's my Obama song. Times 12. 3.6 million a year. Hey, that's a lot of money. And she said no. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's scary. You know, if a similar law like that one in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, if they were to pass something like that in Missouri, which is a very conservative state, uh, it's going to be uh, lights out for that woman that Mary went to go see. Because, hmm. yeah. 
Because <laughs> sword swallowing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't get it. But is that gay, though? I mean, the, 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 she can do it. Can she? A guy can't do it, though. But can she? It's it's lewd. I mean, they, they're they casting a wide net here. You know, I just don't know how you practice for something like that. How do you practice? Carefully. I was like, how do you practice sword swallowing? Because you got to get it right the first time or you die. What do you practice with? Uh, you probably practice with something that's not a sword. Well, but those also, like, I guess it's a small defense, but I don't think they have a point on them. They're short. They're blunt. So they're like stage swords. Yeah. Right? You're not taking a giant Viking sword and putting it down your throat. I mean, they're they're kind of rounded on the end. So... If you're going to make, if you end up making a mistake, it's You can still get hurt, fatal. I'm sure, but it's not yeah. going to, yeah, I don't think it's going to kill you. Okay. I'm going to take a break. If you want to send a text here at 35192, you can watch live if you like at alancoxshow.com. And I'll have those AJR tickets for you. Anybody been hitting me up for those? AJR is on the road and uh, doing their tour next summer. When's the date on that? Yeah, June 27th at the Romo Fijo. So if you're a fan, I'll get you those coming back. And then 530 is your next keyword. Last couple days to grab $1,000 from the buzzard bookie. It's the Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app or whatever smart device you have. Just tell me to play the Alan Cox Show on iHeartRadio.